Hi there and welcome along. Today we're looking at the regal later to become the comet in Mildon Hall in Suffolk. So let's get started. Now the regal comet in Mildon Hall was a difficult cinema to gather information on. Not even the local museum could offer any information or pictures which I found very sad indeed. The town's only cinema from 1935 to 1966 and not a single item in the local museum. So I was on my own, but never mind. Located at number 6 North Terrace in Mildenhall, Suffolk, the Regal was built in 1935, but it was not the first cinema in the town. The Town Hall was converted into the electric cinema in the 1910s. It was closed, however, when the Regal Cinema opened and it reverted back to its Town Hall use. So the Regal opened in 1935 on a prominent town centre site. We don't know the exact date or the film shown. It had a 20-foot wide proscenium and it was equipped with British Talking Pictures BTP sound system. It seated 475 patrons and the architect was J. Owen Bond of Norwich to a design that was to reoccur in the area. The Regal was owned by the Bostock Cinema Circuit based in Ipswich. The red brick frontage featured the name in cream coloured concrete letters. The steel frame of the building was so designed that a balcony could be added later if needed. Now inside the cinema the foyer was painted in a biscuit colour over pebble type plasterwork, featured cornices on either side and an art deco central light fitting. In the auditorium, textured walls were finished in a biscuit colour with a gold speckle effect. The proscenium arch was finished in gold, which gave an impressive effect to patrons. Blue screen and exit curtains completed the decor. House lighting was from a central ceiling fitting, much used by Owen Bond in Gaumont designs of the time, and from the underside of caps to the main piers. Attendants and usherettes were dressed in brown and beige uniforms. But it didn't remain the Regal for very long and it was renamed Comet in 1937 after the de Havilland Comet which won the 1934 Mildon Hall to Melbourne Air Race taking 70 hours, 54 minutes and 18 seconds after it took off from Mildon Hall Airfield. The Comet sign on the front elevation benefited from a blue neon sign. The projection room entrance was on the front left of the building. In later incarnations of this plan, J. Owen Bond had moved it to the side of the building, out of the way of patrons coming to the front. By 1953, it had been equipped with a British Acoustic BA duosonic sound system. By 1958, Cinemascope had been installed and the proscenium had been widened to 30 feet. Now here is the only remaining picture of the projection room that I could find, or rather that it found me and was sent to me by Mandy Bloom, who used to go to the Saturday morning shows as a young girl. Notice the picture was taken quite late in the life of the cinema due to the cinemascope set up with varimorphs in position. As time went on, Cinema audiences were declining and bingo was offered two nights a week in 1961 but it couldn't save the comet and it closed its doors completely in 1966. Whilst a complete history is sketchy it also served as a snooker club for a while and in July and September 1973 Arnold Aldous put forward ambitious plans to reopen it as four nights a week films and three nights bingo but these sadly did not materialise. A Milton Hall man worth mentioning of course is Jack Haylock who used the cinema a lot when it was open and fought long and hard to save the building as the audiences declined. In November 1995 councillors gave permission for it to be demolished to make way for a Jehovah's Witness Kingdom Hall to be built on the site. There was to be a commemorative plaque on the replacement property dedicated to the Comet Cinema, 
but we don't know if that happened. Well, that's it for now. We hope you liked this one. Just a little look back, as much as we could get, on the Comet Cinema in Mildenhall. But all cinemas are worth remembering. Until next time, be good to each other. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Particularly subscribe, because that helps a lot. And I'll see you soon. Ta-da. Bye.